So this side is good. Welcome back to another episode of Weekly Reels. We're back at it again, back in North Carolina. So today we're gonna pick up the 2013 Ford Escape. This is gonna be the parts car because all the engine is blown and we sold all the engine. So let's get ready, it's coming right now. Let's check it out. Turn the wheel in, Ellis. So it's the next day. We finally got the car from IAA auction. So now we're just gonna go around and look at all the damages that's on this car. We already know that this is gonna be the parts car. This engine has 78,000 miles on it. So the other one, we already know the engine is not good because that's the way how I got it from one of my buddies. But hey, we're just gonna hop into this one. We're gonna take the engine and transmission out of this and put it in the white one. Both of them are the same year, 2013 EcoBoost SE. So let's not do no more talking. <laughs> let's not waste any more time. Let's, let's, hop, let's hop, in, hop into this video. Hey, winner is coming. Let's grab yourself some, some hoodies. Hey, check out our, our, our website, wewebills.com. Like, share, subscribe, and drop your comments and thoughts down below. Let's hop into the video. Our website, wewebills.com. Like, share, subscribe, and drop your comments and thoughts down below. Let's hop into the video. This side is good. So here's where the damage is at, at this door. Can't even hardly shut. And then here's where everything got messed up at. So right here. And down there, some of the suspension parts. And the headlights damage in the front. But the only thing we need out of this is the engine and the transmission and maybe mine a few things. We probably take the battery out of this one too because the other one is dead. But let's look inside. You can see the knee ear bag went off and the steering wheel ear bag went off. This seat belt also is locked up and this ear bag went off. But this seat belt's good. This is how in the back looked. This is some of the trash that I start putting away that's in the, the car. But this is most, I like this interior too. So I maybe try to put this interior into the white one over there. But we're just gonna try to see how much we could, how far we could get on this today and see how much we could pull off, pull out, pull off some of the stuff so we could get the engine and the transmission out today. And then we could start, we could start on the white one. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> MD, JPB, it's only right, baby. Yeah, why you mad? I got a bad bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact. So we're gonna kind of change plans right now. We're just gonna start removing all of these in, in, inner trims and the door panels, the seats, the carpet, and we'll sit it and put in the white one. 
and then see all the stuff that we could get off this and then we'll switch it over because uh since that front wheel is messed up we can't really move it but we're gonna find a way to get it done let's go so right now all we're doing is taking the door panels off we just switched one up here so we're putting the black door panel off on that one so in order to take this door this door panel off there's a clip and all you do is just pull the clips out and then once you pull the clips out you have one screw right here and then you have another one down here if you could see it but those are the two and then you're going to remove this piece up here so to pull this one all you're doing is just pulling this and then i've already pulled this open but i just just take this piece out and then you have another bolt right there and then once you do that you just push the whole thing up and then remove it oh and don't forget to disconnect this because when you disconnect it it makes it more easier and then you just push the wire straight through but let's keep going and you got one more bolt that's down here Now you remove this wire right here. Just push down and pull down. This one is here. This is up here. Oh, I'm going to start it. So when removing the front ones, you're gonna remove one screw from here, one behind here, and the other one down at the bottom, right? Then you're gonna lift this out and then you have two bolts right here. So these two bolts, once you remove those two and disconnect this, then everything should come out properly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> MD, JPB, it's only right, baby. Yeah, why you mad? I got a bad bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And that's when you take off this reflector right here. From here, that's how you find you find the other screw on that side. Same thing. Just press the tab down and pull up. Do the same thing that you do for the other 
doors about pulling that. Now we got the whole interior stripped. So now we're about to hop on, on the other car and get that interior and put it in here. Let's keep working. So to remove these four bolts, you have to use 18. You have to use 18 to pull these four bolts. Then the next, you're gonna use around here. You have some more bolts. If that's this one, please. And around here, you gotta use 15s for these. And then for the seat belts, there's another set of bolts down here. But you could just lift that up, lift the seat up and then get those out. Let's go. So these are the other bolts that I'm talking about where the seat belt is at. So you got one, two, and you have another one that's hidden here in the corner. Three, and then you got one more on the other side and the other one for the seat belt right there, over there. So, so let's keep going. And then you should have the other ones in the back where it's another 15. But let's keep moving. So it's getting laid on us, but the interior is done. We'll have to get these seats clean. But the only thing that kind of spoils it is because these belt, these seat belts are still clean. I should have changed them out. But we're probably going to clean these seat belts up those because they look very dirty, especially the driver's side one. But we're going to still let them stay to match with the headliner. But... That's it. 